What's up everyone, Brian Cook, and today we're playing a spicy combo deck thanks to our longtime supporter, Sean, and I'm going to butcher this, Dagnan? I hope I said it correctly. Anyway, Sean submitted for the first time Thought Shift, a deck that uses Thassa's Oracle and Thought Lash to deck yourself and then win the game with the Thassa's Oracle trigger. We also have Paradigm Shift to also deck ourselves, so we have eight ways to deck ourselves and four Thassa's Oracles. Sean has been a member of the Combo Cabal pretty much ever since it's been created. And Sean has yet to turn in the free donation deck that comes with that subscriber tier until now. So because of that, I am willing to play the four Chales of the Void that Sean put in the sideboard. Normally I would reject this immediately, but I feel like Sean has built up enough equity where I am willing to play this disgusting trash piece of magic card. So today we'll be playing Chales of the Void. The card that ruins me gives me nightmares it's terrible but today we're playing shells of the void uh but the main idea behind this deck is that we're just looking to win with Thassa's oracle but we don't have any tutors in this deck we do have some preordained some impulses wait we do have a tutor down here we have step through a five mana sorcery that returns two creatures to their owner's hands that's not really what we're doing with it though we have Wizard Cycling for two, so you pay two mana, you discard this card from your hand, and then you search your library for a wizard card. What's that? Thassa's Oracle's a wizard. That's weird. So is Spellseeker, and Malevolent Hermit, and this one down here, Umara Wizard, which is really just a land. So the reason we're playing it is that you can cycle the step through to go get the Umara Wizard to play it as a land, or you could even cycle it just to thin your deck and then pitch it to Force of Will. Uh, in general, I think this card's a little bit underwhelming, but we'll see how it goes today. Uh, speaking of cards that I'm a little bit underwhelmed by, and I'm sorry, Sean, uh, but Dockside Isle, or Shell Dock Isle, I don't know why I said Dockside Isle, that would be a sweet card, uh, but Shell Dock Isle. So the idea is that when you have 20 or fewer cards, or whenever a player has 20 or fewer cards, you can pay one blue mana, tap it, and then cast a spell from underneath the Shell Dock Isle. If your deck has 20 or fewer cards, more than likely you've used a Thought Lash or you've used Paradigm Shift. If this is the case, you're already winning. I don't think this card is actually any good. I would like to see the three of these replaced with additional copies of Scary or Ancient Tomb. That said, Sean submitted this deck list. We're going to play it as is, but I think that this is likely a card that should leave the library or leave the deck list um, in general. So we have Pact of Negation, I'll back up our combo alongside these Forcibles that I've already mentioned. We do have Jace, Wielder of Mysteries, which can act as an additional copy of this as Oracle. Uh, I said seven effect, or I said eight of, of, of these effects, and then four of these. We do have three Jace, uh, Wielder of Mysteries. Four mana is kind of tough in Legacy, especially when you're an Ancient Tomb deck. So I don't know how castable this card will be, we'll find out. But uh, the scaries really do help with that. And we have Lotus Petal, so maybe it's not actually going to be that bad. I did play a Thassa's Oracle deck just the other day, and that video went live. You can check it out in the card above where we played Tainted Pact. And I thought about adding this card into the, into the deck list, but then I decided against it. Today we're playing it. Let's see how it goes. And the sideboard. Aside from having these disgusting cards like Chalice of the Void, we have a Zombie Lady of Scrolls, which might seem a little bit weird. But according to Sean, this card is in the deck list, so that way you can wizard cycle it for it against decks that don't have a lot of removal, and then just get card advantage off of your spell seekers, the Azami itself, Mulvant Hermit, etc. So it's really just a value card. There's no combo with it. You're just looking to value grind for five mana. Teferi's Realm is a spicy one. Uh, it's essentially just a mono blue way of getting rid of a bunch of hate permanents all at once. Uh, I've played it before in some high tide variants. It's cute. I could see it being good. Narset, obviously a pretty powerful card. Everyone watching this likely knows what Narset does, so I'm just going to move on. Additional copies of Force and Negation for, you know, combo deck stuff like that. The Mana Maze is one that confused me for a little bit, and then Sean explained it. So the idea is that if you resolve an early Mana Maze versus a control deck, your payoff spells like Thassa's Oracle or Thought Lash are uncounterable because they can't cast a blue card or a blue spell following your blue spell. And I think that's pretty interesting here. So Mana Maze seems like some pretty sweet tech. And then up in this row, we have some Singleton, uh, you know, Answers. Urkel's Recall, Flusterstorm, Dress Down, and then Retrieval. So Sean pointed out that this is actually better than Chain of Vapor in this deck because you don't want your opponent sacrificing a land and then bouncing your Thought Lash 
or your J's. So the retrieval, some EDH tech for you, likely slightly better in this deck. Uh, that's my deck tech. I hope you enjoyed it. I, if you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer those down below, but I'm not an expert with this deck. I'm sure Sean will watch this video and will likely respond down below as well. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. And I will see you in the first match. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. That said, there's no better way of showing your support than becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks, and we get to keep making combo content. The perks get better and better each level you go up. They also stack. To start off, with our Storm Fan tier, you unlock our private member section of our Discord, which comes with a highlighted user profile, and then some awesome badges and emotes for YouTube. Looking for some Cyborg help? Become a Stormtrooper, our middle tier, for two Cyborg guides of your deck choice every single month, on top of 50% off donation decks. Did we mention you also get 10% off merchandise from our shop? With our top tier, the Combo Cabal, you get a free donation deck every single month, 15% off merchandise from our shop, early access to private deck lists, and the most valuable perk in my opinion, videos early. That's right, you heard it, early access to all videos. Videos. But maybe Sweet Perk Secret Deck List Early Access to Videos isn't for you, but you'd still like to show your appreciation. Make sure to check out theepicstorm.com slash shop for card singles and storm swag. Please don't forget to use your membership discounts. Finally, if you want to see your combo deck here on this very YouTube channel, make sure to visit theepicstorm.com slash donation decks, where all you have to do is attach your TXT file and pick a donation tier. With our epic tier, you can even join me in a video to showcase your bold brew in person and explain the ins and outs of your strategy. Card availability won't be an issue due to our new sponsor, Card Hoarder. With Card Hoarder, renting is super easy. If you're looking to get into Magic Online, Online, there isn't a better, more affordable solution than Card Hoarder. Fun fact, you can rent the Epic Storm for seven tickets a week, which is just a great deal. There are many ways you can support us. Just pick whatever is best for you. In the meantime, let's play some Magic. Welcome to match number one of Thought Shift, the fastest Oracle combo deck. We are on the play. All right, so we have Oracle, we have Shift, but Ancient Tomb is our land. I think we have to mulligan this, unfortunately. Uh, so Hermit, decent. We have Thought Lash. We don't have Oracle. Um, I think we keep this and use Bottom and Impulse. Impulse to the bottom. Okay. Island Preordain. I think I don't mind the other island. I'm going to keep that. The reason to keep the other island is we don't have to sacrifice the scary so aggressively, and then we can use it to cast the Thought Lash later while still progressing our game plan with this. Blooded Strand, what are you playing? Um, I'm going to just pass here. I was thinking about it. I don't know what Flooded Strand represents, but if it sorts to Plowshares, that's bad. So I think I want to play the Hermit when I have mana up. Another copy of Flooded Strand, okay. Let's cast the Impulse. Grab the Step Through, the long way of going to get Thassa's Oracle. Draw. Jace. Right, I'm just going to pass here. And they're using their Flooded Strand. For Tundra. And Volcanic. Cycle Shark Typhoon. Okay. No Sharknadoes here. Um, Sure. I mean, we're not really a brainstorm. Like, we don't have that much card draw on our deck. The thing I'd be worried about with the Narset is a Days and Doing. I guess it would stop Jace from winning the game. And they hit Days in Doing. All right, we're probably screwed here. Um, An Oracle is just short of winning. Wow. Uh, actually, I can play the Hermit. 
So we would need the Hermit to resolve. All right, we have a plan. Hermit resolves, okay. We'll play the scary and pass. Whoops, sorry about that. Okay. Nurse at activation. Brainstorm. All right, so if they have an untapped land here, they've got me. And there it is. They're switching phases to empty my mana pool, and then they're going to Daze and Doing. We've been dazed. Preordain, that's not a good draw. Um, play Jace, why not? They are going to force Jace. Okay, pass the turn. Ponder. Did not shuffle off Ponder. Not in a good spot. Draw. Right on time, Pact of Negation. Right on time. So this is just a Scry 2. We don't want either of those. So those can go on the bottom. Pass the turn. Ponder again. And they're passing. Draw. Another step through. Typhoon for four. So I can use this step through to go get the Oracle, but I think one awkward thing about this deck is that there's no way to control your own graveyard. So if you want to shift, you have to do it early uh, because there's no way of like exiling cards from your graveyard, which is just a little bit uncomfortable. Go grab the Oracle. I mean, it's possible that we just draw the Thought Lash and then try to win with Pack Backup. Womp womp. All right, pass the turn. So I guess one silver lining about drawing Oracle is that if we draw into... um, What is it called? Paradigm Shift. We can, in theory, like try to double Oracle win. Draw. There's Thought Lash. Let's try resolving it. Opponent with seven cards in hand. <laughs> Card casting force of will. We will attempt to cast Pact to Negation. If this Pact resolves and then the Thought Lash is countered, we are dead. And that's what happens. They're going to counter the Thought Lash. And I am unable to pay for the pack trigger. All right, so we have lost this game. Moving on to the sideboard. All right, so we're supposed to bring in Mana Maze. And then I don't think this is a Force Indigation matchup. Fluster seems fine. Um, I don't know if you're supposed to board in Darset for... How did you get in there, Force? For the Days and Doing decks, it seems okay. Um, not super sold on it. But one thing you could also do is board in Chalice of the Void for all of their one drops and board out your own um, Preordains. So that way you're just shutting off like all their Pyroblasts and stuff. I don't hate that idea. Get out of here, zombie. Come on. All right. Chalice of the Void. So we're at 66 cards. We're going to board out four copies of Preordain. And then we have three cards that need to come out. I think we could probably get rid of the wizard. Um, wonder if you're allowed to just shave on a couple lotus petals. Against the slow just guy control deck, I'm guessing speed isn't a big factor. Wait, did it not? I thought I boarded in the fluster. I noticed it as I clicked submit. This should be in our deck. All right, if there's a game three, I will fix that. So if I get super lucky and I draw land two, uh, this could be a win, but I think it's pretty risky and we should just mulligan. Really wish this Lotus Petal was a land. Um, do we go to five? I think so. 
Killing me, Smalls. These hands suck. Alright. Uh, let's get rid of the Jaces, I guess. And then we'll keep this and hope to win on the back of Chalice of the Void. Ancient Tomb. Ouch. Chalice on one. It feels wrong even doing it. And it somehow resolves. Okay. Island. Draw. Another chalice. Okay. So I'm also getting punished here because I boarded out the, the dumb uh, Umara wizard. And now I can't step through for the blue land. So I'm immediately getting punished for my decision there. And they're going to force the second one. That's interesting. I think that means that they probably had a... Uh, what is it called? A prismatic ending for this one, and then they decided to counter the second. And I think we're about to see that prismatic ending. Yep, okay. Point with four cards in hand. Ouch. 14 life already. Impulse. Hmm. I'm just going to take the land. Pass the turn. Ponder. They chose to shuffle off the ponder. Second basic planes. I'm going to try to slam this another set here. Ouch, 12 life. And that resolves. Big game. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Um, I think I'm going to take another chalice. It feels wrong. I don't like it. I feel guilty. Now they have a red source, so they can pyroblast the Narset if they choose. We draw Oracle. So now this step through just got a little bit worse. Uh, but I guess it does technically pitch to Force of Will. All right, let's play chalice. Brainstorm in response. I'll let that go. Chalice. Horse pitches brainstorm. No cards in hand. Sure. I, I don't think we're supposed to fight over that. So our opponent's passing. I'm going to cycle the step through because I can go. I mean, this is the long way to do it, but I can go get Spellseeker that go gets shift. Draw another Oracle, okay. Um, so what's Spellseeker? Yes. Grab the shift. Cast the shift. Pass the turn. Next turn we can double Oracle. Hopefully with Force back up. Scalding turn, and they have one card in hand. Devotion five. Woot woot. That was on a mulligan to five. How about that? All right. So uh, we got to do a little bit of our thing there. And now I will actually board in this fluster storm. Do we want anything else, though? I don't think so. Maybe I should board the silly card back in. We'll just board out the lotus petals. I think I'm in for that. Uh, All-Star Umara Wizard showing up to battle already. <laughs> uh, I think we keep this. Okay. Tundra Ponder. They did not shuffle off their Ponder. Draw. I wonder if I keep this now as a blue card. I think the answer is yes. Flooded Strand, what are you going to grab? Another Tundra. And another Ponder. And they're passing the turn. Draw. Attempt this Chalice of the Void. 
I wouldn't be surprised if Chalice is just supposed to be in the main here. Force pitching to fairy. Sure. So that means that next turn we can set up Umara Wizard into shift, untap, attempt to Thoracle with force backup. Scalding turn, opponent has three cards in hand. Draw. Thoughtlash. Let's attempt to shift. They're fetching. Blasted. Yep. Two cards in the opponent's hand now. Still two. I'm going to attempt to shift again here. Shift. They choose the fluster. I'm going to pay the fluster cost here. We can just win next turn. One with one card in hand. This act's so funny. <laughs> All right, they're passing two cards. Draw. Chalice of the Void. All right, so let's play the Chalice. Fast as Oracle. And if this is countered, we can shift again to put it back into our deck. And our opponent concedes. We win the first match. Oracle shift one up, one zero, oh, and I will see you in the second match. Don't go anywhere. If you haven't joined them already, I would recommend opening up our description down below and joining our seven social media networks. They're each great in their own way, but I would strongly suggest joining our Discord server. In there, you will find others just like you looking to improve their Storm game and grow as a combo community. If you're a member of our YouTube channel, you should sync your account to Discord to unlock our private member section that has the latest and greatest deck lists, concepts, and much, much more. Let's get back to comboing out. Match number two. We're on the draw. Unfortunately, we've opened up zero land, so we're going to mulligan this one. And here we have that Lotus Petal again. Um, really wish that Shellac Isle was just like a basic island here. <laughs> Um, I think we're probably going to keep this and then just bottom the second copy of Force. Hmm. I'm gonna get rid of Hermit instead, actually. Hope a Gearper. Um. Guess I force it pitching Preordain? I'm not sure what they're playing here. Needle. Okay. Scalding Tarn. Well, there are none of those in our deck. Draw. Sheldock Isle. I think we take another Sheldock here. Oh no, I forgot it goes underneath. Whoops. I should have taken Pact. I'm sorry. Ah, that, that was a little bit of a punt. You got it. For some reason, I was thinking that was more like a pot. Like, I don't like I thought I was impulsing, I think, because in my mind, I was like, yeah, I'll take Sheldock Isle and then I'll play that as my second land. That's not how this works. So that was a mental mistake there. Passing the turn, draw. Pass. If we can draw a paradigm shift, we have somewhat of a win lined up. And there's a saga. Okay. Turn the great creator. I am forced to force of will that. Normally this deck isn't weak to Karn, but we have double Lotus Petal in our hand. So. Kind of just have to draw. Yikes. Okay. One with two cards. Two mana. They're going to use the map. And they pick up an ancient tomb, so that way they can create a construct token on their turn. Draw. 
Jace Wheeler Mystery. So it's a card that pitches to Force of Will, but we still just need to draw Paradigm Shift. Interesting, they didn't make a Construct. Bomberman? Mystic Forge. They have two cards. I'm just going to force it. Okay. That Jace Wielder Mysteries just give them a little bit of info about what we're doing. Draw. Another Shellback Isle. Okay. I'm not supposed to take the shift. I guess I put Spellseeker there. No, I want Spellseeker to be able to tutor for. I don't think it really matters. Let's pass. Manifold key, sure. And the opponent's passing. My paradigm shift. Draw. Pass. So now that we've drawn the surprise and scary, Thought Lash off the top becomes a live card. In fact, Thought Lash is a better draw than Paradigm Shift is right now. Because we can win in one turn with uh, Thought Lash. Okay, they have Karn. Um, I think that means we're dead. Because next turn they can Lattice us. Interesting. So they decided that they're not going to wait to lattice us next turn. Instead, they're going to get liquid metal coating right now. Interesting. Okay. Let's impulse. We found the thought lash, but it's too late. I think we're just dead. You need our opponent to mess up in order for us to win this, I think. Lion's Eye Diamond. So they ripped the card to play the Lattice this turn. We are, in fact, dead. That'll do. Okay. So I'm going to board out the Lotus Petals here because, well, one, Karn shuts them off, but two, if I board them out, I can board in Chalice of the Void and then play it on zero to slow them down. I will need to board out these Pact Negations as well. Uh, but that's okay because we want the Hercules Recall. I definitely want Force Negation. I think Retrieval might be okay. It brings us to 62. Hmm. I don't think Hermit's great in this matchup. Like, it's fine. I just don't think it's terrific. I think I'm going to try this out. Game 2 on the play. Sure, why not? Let's try it out. We we already have enough mana to cast the Thought Lash. We just need to find Thassa's Oracle. All right, the opponent's ready to begin. Let's do it. Preordain. I think we can afford to keep this extra Preordain here. Ancient Tomb, and they're passing. Draw. Step through does get the Oracle. All right, let's preordain. Bottom both of these, I think. That's interesting. So now I don't necessarily need to get the Oracle. I just have it lined up. Four mana. Oh, not Seer. I'll force that. Let's pitch the preordain. Draw. So we're supposed to play the Thought Lash now, because if our opponent has a second copy of Thought Not Seer, we have two ways to deck ourselves, or win when we're decked in hand. Okay, so the opponent's played a City of Traitors into Karn the Great Creator. Now they can get Liquid Metal Coating. And then try to lock down our land in the upkeep. That said, we can use step through to cycle to go get Oracle, and it's not going to be an issue. And they did, in fact, get the liquid metal coating. Sure thing. Okay. 
So they're going in, in our upkeep. Uh, we have to pay the thought lash. Can you? Uh, I guess that does work. Okay. Yes. Draw. So now we pass the turn. Even if they lattice us here, I can say no to the thought lash and then Jace wins. I could have played a land there. I just didn't. I also could have plus Jace. What was I doing? <laughs> I was just so excited about playing Jace that I just like didn't do anything else the rest of the turn. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Yep. And they did get Lattice. You have a Lattice. So now it exiles our deck. And then we draw and win with Jace. They could have bit me in the butt. I should have played my land and I should have plus the Jace. That was just sloppy play. All right. I got lucky in one anyway. But what now? I don't think I'm supposed to change it. I think we just resubmit. Game three, we're on the draw. We've opened up Force of Will, but we've also opened up Quadruple Thassa's Oracle. No lands. We have to mulligan. Okay, this hand has potential. Um, I think you're probably supposed to bottom the Jace. All right, I'm going to keep him bottom Jace. Saga. Hope. Sure. Draw. Chal zero. Hopefully that slows them down a little bit and then preordain. I don't think I want the force now that they've resolved hope of Giripur. I think we just bottom the force. And I drew one anyway. Okay. Saka moves up to two. Hope of Giripur will fall to 19 life. Love this little metal bug. I've been hoped. Run Monolith. Manifold key. You got it. Five available mana here. Bod not seer. Okay. And they took the thought lash. Draw. Play the scary. They'll know that we drew this, but it allows me to use Atawara if I need to. Oh no, my bad. They left thought lash. I just completely misunderstood what happened that turn. They left Thought Lash and took Force. Interesting. Uh, one note is that our opponent can now go and get Needle and then name the Thought Lash. Okay, they have one card in hand. I'm tapping the Monolith. Okay. Mystic Forge. We're definitely in trouble here. The Exile Blast Zone. Now we take four down to 15. Draw. Another land. Um, So I could play the Thought Lash, but I can't activate it. Or I can hold up Atawara. I think I'm supposed to just hold up the Atawara here. They're going to exile the top card of their deck, which was Inventor's Fair. Right, I'm going to try to slow them down, I think, and I'm going to just bounce the Construct token. I don't know if I love this line, but I think bouncing the Thought Not Seer doesn't make a whole lot of sense when they can just recast it. Chalice of the Void triggers and counters the Mox Opal. Now they have four mana. Serum Powder. Draw. Let's cast the Preordain. Another Thought Lash. Guess we'll keep the Impulse. Let's cast it. Um, I mean, I think we take the Oracle here. The issue is that I can't actually use the Thought Lash. 
And if I let the Thought Lash die in my upkeep, I'm just dead. Because then I deck myself. Another Thought Knot Seer. So now they take our Oracle. Yeah, I don't think I can win this. So now we go to seven and they have lethal on board. Draw. It's technically a jump blocker. Um, so let's play the Thought Lash and then we can play Oracle and see if we want to put a card on top. I think the answer is just no. Okay. I think they got us. I don't think there's one card that gets me out of this. Another Serum Powder. We have to block. And I can't activate the Thought Lash due to this Needle. Okay. So we'll exile the top card of our deck, yes. Draw. And that's it. We are now one and one. Playing your favorite combo deck and paper just got so much easier with the Epic Storm mini token pack. You can pick one up at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $13. It includes 64 double-sided mini tokens, that's 128 tokens total, and they include 10 black, 10 blue, 10 red, 5 green, 5 white, 3 colorless, 20 storm counters. That means that you can count your way all the way up to 20 for Grape Shot, everyone's favorite storm win condition, a Galvanic Relay Exile Indicator, 4 treasure tokens for Strike It Rich, and then 10 monk tokens for our vintage friends. It also has Slime Time Live! Eighth progenitor ooze tokens with the power toughness already built in to make playing in paper so much easier. No fumbling around with dice. We've got you covered. Make sure to go grab those if you're playing modern. And then squirrels versus goblins, chatterstorm versus empty the warrens, the battle of the ages. You definitely need 20 squirrel tokens and 20 goblin tokens. You're going to love this mini token pack, I promise. And once again, you can grab that at theepicstorm.com slash shop. Match number three, we're on the draw and we're facing Imp, who tends to play a lot of combo. So I'm definitely not going to keep this double Thought Lash hand despite having a decent amount of mana. Take a mulligan and look at our six. Here we have no real way to interact. Uh, I think you're supposed to just ship this. And uh, once again, Chaldock Isle, not looking so good yet. Going to five. I think you keep this, but I don't love it. Opponent also going to five, so we're gonna get rid of the pedal and this impulse. Cycle street rate. So they're probably on doomsday if this is the case. No land. Okay. Draw. Another land. Preordain. Okay. I don't know if I was supposed to keep the second shift, but. It could be a counter target for them, so that's what I why I kept it. And they did find the land here. Draw. Hermit. Hermit seems pretty good. Let's play that. They're fetching in response. Looking more and more like Doomsday by the second. We've been dazed. Also, ever since the Moto update, my sideboard will not stick where I want it to be. It just keeps on popping into this tiny little box. Okay. They've replayed the Underground Sea. Personal Tutor. All right, draw. Let's uh, play the back half of Hermit. If they go Dark Ritual Doomsday here, Thoughtseize. The Thoughtseize actually doesn't matter. So they do have Doomsday in hand. And they take the step through, so we have no way to get Oracle now. Oh, they have the Dark Ritual Doomsday? Oh, that's insane. So they're going to have one card left in hand. We have to figure out how to win from here. 
I guess I could just draw Force of Will. Or another Hermit. I guess if I drew Oracle, that doesn't win this turn, though. Hmm. I don't know what a pile would look like that you're trying to win with one card. Would I mean, I guess you could build a Brainstorm pile. Yeah, there's got to be a way for them to kill me here. They're going to go to seven life, and then we can attack them down to five, but that should be more than enough for them to win. Once again, you'll notice my, uh, my cyborg keeps... I guess I, I could close it. It doesn't need to be open for this deck. I like playing with it open, though. Interesting. So they're a double oracle list. Force of Will. Awkward. So they know that we have one unknown in hand. Brainstorm. Yep. So now they can build a cycler plus lion's eye diamond pile that wins the game. There's the lion's eye diamond. There's the edge for triple blue. Consider, yep. And the oracle. Bummer. We were not the best oracle deck that game. Let's see if we can fix that. We definitely want Fluster Storm. I guess you can bring in Dress Down. Force Negation seems fine. We definitely want Narset. Uh, Chalice of the Void on one seems decent. What to board out? Definitely the Preordains. And then we're still six cards over. We have to do some real trimming here. Um, I think we should try to not be a combo deck. Like, we want to take the control role. So I'm going to board out some of this step through Umaro package. Probably get rid of the spell seeker too. That brings us down to 61. And then I'm going to board out a Jace. Let's try this. On the play for game number two. Garbage. Sure. Uh, let's keep this and bottom the Ottawara. Hmm. Point it mulliganing to five. Ancient tomb. Ouch. Chalice. And that resolves. Okay. I wonder if I'm supposed to try to build up the Chalice 3. <laughs> Draw. Hermit. All right, our clock is here. And they're passing the turn. I'm guessing the Chalice stopped their Dark Ritual opener. Play the Shell Dock. Okay. Get in there. Dress down underneath Shell Dock Isle is actually quite good because Shell Dock operates off of their Doomsday Pile as well because their opponent would be underneath 20. Which means that if they try to win, we just have this dress down tucked at any moment. Seven cards in the opponent's hand. I can't chalice on two and try to win. That's not a good idea. Um, I guess I can play this for zero, though. So now we're one land away from a chalice three. I am the dirty prison player. The opponent's conceded. All right, so we're off to game three now. Don't think I change anything. Let's just resubmit. I think we keep this. I mean, I, I really need to draw like an ancient tomb, but I think we keep. Underground C. Thought C's. Actually, even better than ancient tomb would be the surprise and scary. They took Fluster. Interesting. Draw. Hell yeah. 
Okay, so I think we jam the Chalice 1 to start. Um, I think they open on days. Ugh, I should have played the scary. Alright, I've already committed to this line, so I'm just going to do it. I think they left the Chalice because they opened on their days. Ooh, they just forced. Okay. Three cards in hand. Another thought sees. So they're going to take the Oracle here because both these effects just exile our deck, so there's no reason to uh, leave one. So I guess if they discard, I can just shift here. Draw. Okay. Pass the turn. Ball ritual. Doomsday. I'm in trouble. I am in trouble. Can I draw a protection spell here? They know two of the three in our hand. I have six forces. Although they could probably build a pile to beat force and negation. My fluster's gone. I could draw a dress down. There's seven outs. I'd probably take Hermit as a, a live draw here. Okay, draw. That doesn't do it. Uh, I think I just played the Shell Dock. Oh, I messed that up. I could have put the Thought Lash under there because they're under uh, 20 cards. So I guess my hope here is that I impulse into a force. We're going all in on Brainstorm. Diamond. Okay. The question is, if they built a pile that wins using uh, Cavern, and it looks like the answer is actually just no. So I'm going to impulse here and see if I hit. And what I hit is four lands. That's terrible. <laughs> uh, I guess I take the Ancient Tomb. Wow. Yep. We are now one and two. That's ridiculous. Uh, four cards off the aisle, plus four cards off the Impulse, and they all stunk. Draw. All, all right, we, we weren't going to hit it anyway. That's a bummer. One, two, and round four is coming up. Hey, you're still watching. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. If you're looking to make a purchase from Card Hoarder, TCG Player, or Amazon, and are looking to support us, you can open up our description down below, and in there you will find our affiliate links. Those same links are found on the homepage of the Epic Storm. But that's not all. We've included a card hoarder button on our website that will load the Epic Storm in your card hoarder cart to make life simple for you. Match 4 on the draw versus KCC was revealed a Yorian. KC tends to play some wild decks, so against KC I would not put them being on death and taxes, but likely some sort of like Bant midrange pile maybe. But we only have one land despite having both Oracle and Shift. I think you're supposed to unmulligan this, unfortunately. It's close. Uh, I th if this Jace was a an Oracle, this hand would be insane. And I think you're supposed to get rid of the second copy of Shift. Savannah, and they're passing the turn. Draw. Okay. I'm good with playing this out early. Try to accelerate into this Jace Wielder of Mysteries. One swept teeth. Bayou. Interesting. They're passing the turn. Draw. Another force. I think I'll play Hermit here. So next turn we can play Jace on the following turn we shift and try to win. While having Force of Will plus Hermit back up. Okay, yeah, I'll definitely uh, grab an island here. 
Lingering Souls. I'm going to let that go. No reason to force that. Draw. Another Hermit. I'll target them with the Jace. Two Spellseeker. There's a Saga. Veteran Explorer. So it's like a Nick Fit Yorion deck. Evolutionary Leap. I'm going to let this go. Because if I force this, it actually slows me down a turn from winning with the shift. And they're getting in there. Jace moves to three counters. Play an island and let's shift. Okay, now we target ourselves with Jace and that'll do. Woot woot. And our opponents conceded the game, so we will be going to game number two. This doesn't really seem like a Pact and Negation matchup to me, so we'll get rid of that. Uh, retrieval seems fine. Dress Down seems okay. Maybe we want Teferi's Realm? I'm not sure. I don't think we do. All right, I'm just going to do those two. Let's try this. Or do we think that Teferi's Realm was better than the fourth copy of Hermit? It's not going to let me. Okay. If there's a game three, I'll try the Realm over Hermit 4. Okay, the opponents revealed the Yorian once again. We've opened up a pretty strong hand here. We're looking for another blue source, but this hand is so good. All right. That's yeah, a veteran explorer. Draw. And there's our blue source. Preordain. Top. And I think we bottom that. So next turn I can cast shift and then try to win on turn three. There's the bayou. Opponent's going to get in for one. We'll fall the 19 life from this veteran explorer. Uh, worst case scenario here. Um, I think we let it go. Uh, and they hit the shift. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, so they're going to accelerate us here. We will get two basic islands off this uh, veteran explorer. Yes. And then I think we forced the therapy pitching an oracle. One has three cards in hand. They could always put the Yori into hand. And it doesn't look like they're going to do that. Okay, draw. Atawara. So if, if I play the Thought Lash and it gets destroyed, I deck myself. I think I'm supposed to just pass here, hold up the Atawara, and then try to do Thought Lash and Oracle all in one smooth motion next turn. A little chat. A glorified sleight of hand, in my opinion. I'm not a super big fan of that card. Uh, there's some other people that are pretty high on it. I'm just not one of those people. Although it does seem very cute with Veteran Explorer. I will give them that. Four cards in the opponent's hand. Now they have three mana open. Draw. Thought Lash. Into Oracle. So if they trophy this, it exiles my library. Um, but I don't have enough devotion. Oh no, I do, unless they have Endurance. So we have to exile our entire deck now. So they would have to have uh trophy plus endurance here and they would give me that way okay seven cards left six cards left five four three two 
All right, now I'm going to just take a peek and see if I've removed all four oracles. One oracle. Two oracles. Three oracles. Okay. And our opponent is conceded. So we've won the match, and we're now 2-2 two and two with one round left to go. If you're looking for more great Magic the Gathering content, definitely check out the Eternal Glory podcast. It is myself, Brian Cook, alongside Brian Koval and Phil Gallagher. We primarily discuss Legacy. That said, a lot of what we talk about transcends all formats. We're available on all major podcast platforms. All right, time for the final match. We're on the draw. This hand seems great. We just need the Thassa's Orca or the Jace Wielder of Mysteries. They played an island and are passing. Draw. Another Sheldock. Sheldock won. Um, guess we put a force under it. Pass the turn. Brainstorm. Okay. Scalding turn and they're passing. Draw. Another four. So we're going to play Sheldock here looking for Jace or Oracle. Neither. Um, guess we take the Hermit. And another brainstorm. They're activating the Scalding turn. What are they getting? Tundra. Okay. Planes into Teferi. I think I'm going to force that. Pitch the Thought Lash. One has five cards in hand. They're going to fight. Which is Snapcaster. Um, if I can cast these cards, it's just that can only do it at sorcery speed, I believe. I think I'm going to let Jace ha or the Teferi happen. Because I, I mean, I think I need this shift. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to force it. Live big. When I have three cards, let's just hope that they're all stinkers. Okay. Draw. Reardain. We'll keep the impulse. Let's cast it. Do I take the shift or do I take the oracles? I think I take the shift. So we know that there's double oracle on the bottom. The reason you take the shift, in my opinion, is because you know that there's uh, the wizard cycling card in your deck to go get those and to shuffle. They did not shuffle off their ponder. Another island. Pass the turn. They've hit land four. Draw. Spellseeker. Cast that. I don't know what this actually gets other than another shift. Yes. It's impulse or another shift. Hmm. I think you're supposed to take the impulse. Pass the turn. All right, so they're just guy. A Wandering Emperor. And while they're tapped out, it's Impulse. We'll take the step through. Pass the turn. One issue I do see is that there's so many cards in our graveyard. Not a big fan of that. So I'll take two and we go to 16. They play a land, so they have three cards in hand. Draw. Uh, we have to wizard cycle first. 
shift. Looks like they're going to counter. Womp womp. Can't do anything about that. So I think here I'm hoping to draw into Thought Lash. Okay, can't do anything. They plus their Teferi. Now they're attacking for five. I think I might as well block. Come on, Thought Lash. Jace. Might as well cast it. Resolves target me, I guess. I don't know. We're not winning with shift anymore anyway. Oh no, I milled Thought Lash. That's a bummer. Um, let's play an Oracle here so that way we can use the five devotion mode on Oracle to scry five. It's not actually scry five, but I get to look five cards deep. And there's the Thought Lash. Okay. The opponent bounces the Oracle, and now they're going to kill the Jace. All right. It's been nice knowing you, Jace. Opponent has to Fury, so I cannot use the Force underneath here effectively, assuming that the Thalash resolves. Three cards in the opponent's hand. Come on, resolve. There we go. Oracle. Two mana. Dress down. I think they should have let me deck myself first, right? Okay, so I'm just going to pass the turn here. Breacher is fine. We're not out of this yet. So this is for 11, so I'd be dead to a bolt. I mean, this deck probably doesn't have Lightning Bolt in it, but I'm wondering if there's a downside to me not blocking. Okay. I can also prevent damage with the Thought Lash. Like, I'm aware. Uh, I don't think it's super relevant. Draw. Hermit. Uh, might as well play Hermit. And... Oracle? Permit stops hard cast force of will. Okay. We are now going to deck ourselves. Click, 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 boom. Okay. Oracle triggers. That's how we do. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, so we definitely want the Mana Maze, Bluster, probably the Narsets. Our opponent didn't have that much stuff that cost one by the looks of it, so I'm not sure how I feel about the Chalice of the Void. I think we just brought out Preordain, call it a day. No, uh, Lotus Petal is better. Let's keep the Preordains. Mm, should I board in the chalice? I don't know. They probably have a bunch of blasts. Let's try this. I mean, I think this is what we did in game or match one. Uh, I didn't take my sideboarding, so we don't have the chalices. Volcanic Island. Draw. Pass the turn. I don't know why. Uh, I should probably should have just played the uh, the scary. Initially, I was going to preordain, and then I decided I was going to sit on it for a little bit, but it's just a mistake. Okay, so I'm in the middle of casting preordain, and I'm looking at paradigm shift and spell seeker. I think we just take the shift because we have the double step through. Spell seeker can go on the bottom. Brainstorm. They pick up Tundra. And they're activating their Scalding Tarn. 
Grab an island. Three mana for Teth. So this Fluster Storm is now shut off. And they plus Teferi. Okay. Draw. Narset. We have two Narsets. We cannot cast this Fluster Storm in our hand due to the Teferi. So our opponent's casting Force of Will here. I am unable to cast this Fluster. I'm sorry, I keep yawning. Uh, they Force of Will our Narset, and we have to pass the turn. Teferi up to six, draw. I'm going to start on an impulse, see if I can find land three. Okay. Bottom of the oracles. I'm going to try playing Narset again. Pyroblast, sure thing. Red Elemental Blast, same card. Three cards in the opponent's hand. They've used the ability on Teferi to gain a card. So they now have five cards. Draw. Okay, Impulse. They're thinking pretty hard about this Impulse. Looks like they're going to counter the Impulse. And they do. Okay. Pass the turn, they have four cards. It's an odd card to counter there. They plus Teferi. Sure thing. Land. There's Hole Breacher. Am I about to get Days and Doing? Land four. Sure, do you have it? A plus. All right, cycle this. Go grab an Oracle. Cycle step through. Grab another Oracle. Draw. Shift. That was actually a pretty good one. Looks like they have the blast. Sure thing. And another shift. So the reason I was initially excited about double shift was that you could cast two of them in a row and make it so your deck has one card in it. But they countered the first one, so now we have eight cards in our deck that we have to go through. The fairy plus is up to six. While Breacher gets in, we go to 14. Draw. Let's impulse, see if we can find the other shift. We do. All right, paradigm shift. Okay, our deck has two cards in it. They minus Teferi, going up to six cards. They play a land, they're at five. We'll take another hit from the Merfolk, we're at 11. Draw, one card in deck. Oracle. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Oracle. So we're not out of this yet. What I can do is I can shift next turn and then step through for the Oracle again. One has three cards. So we'll go to nine with the whole breacher attack. They play a land. Shift again. Okay. Four mana for the Wandering Emperor. So they can make six damage coming in on their turn. Not quite lethal. They're going to minus the Teferi. I think that's a sign of weakness, but I could be wrong. Or they just have another one. It's that they have another one. Um, sure. Three cards in hand. And they plus the Teferi. 
I think that might mean that we're dead here. So we'll take four. Oh, my bad. They didn't use the Teferi. They're bouncing Hall Breacher. Which I don't understand. Unless they just, like, want double blue cards to pitch to force. But I can't interact when you have Teferi anyway. Ah, they're trying to deck me. Um, That's cute. Yep, I am ducked. Womp womp. Okay. So now we go to game three. I do think I want the chalices. Let's get rid of these preordain. Oh, no, my bad. I have lotus petals and preordains in. It just didn't take any of my sideboarding. It's 59. And then the mana maze. Yeah, this is it. Okay. Game three. Let's see if we can get that pity chest. Uh, yeah, this seems fine. Island pass the turn. Under. Classic start from the opponent. Although, maybe not this island. This island's too new. Way too new. Draw. Narset. Hermit. Pass the turn. The Grumpy Old Man. The Level Interment. Brainstorm. Maybe uh, I'll win this game just by attacking with my creatures. Be a fun way to win with this deck, right? Scalding Tarn. Ah, uh, they might have swords here. They do. Okay. Bummer. Draw. Attempt to play Narset. I could have set up a turn where I play Hermit first, but I'm going big here. They pitch Hull Breacher. Okay. Land three. Volcanic Island. And their own Narset. Okay. They have Days in Doing. That's a bummer. Uh, let's play the Hermit. They have another force. Wow. Okay, so we're about to get Days Undoing. Thought my hand was good. Getting crushed. Yep. Well, that's actually not that bad. Um... Okay, I would need to draw a land on my turn to win. How wild would it be to win the game after getting Narset dazed and doing? One has infinite cards and selection. And they're just going to pass the turn. All right, cycle the step through. Grab the Oracle. Draw. Mana Maze. Eats a Pyroblast. Okay. Pass the turn. And another Brainstorm. Six cards in hand. They're going to activate the Narset now. They have Pyroblast. I'm just going to see if they'll counter this. Like, I'm not going to win this game anyway. Looks like they're going to let the shift resolve. And pass. Womp womp. We know that they have Pyroblast in hand already for our, for our Oracle. So I think we're just dead. They blew up their own Narset. Okay, that'll do. So uh, we went 2-3. It's fine. Um, some thoughts, though. I think that this card is not good. 
I said that before we started playing. Playing just confirmed it. We just want more of these scaries and ancient tombs so that way we can cast the expensive cards on our deck. I think that you likely just want to cut the preordains and play four chalice in the main deck. You're running one card in your entire deck that costs one. Just swap it out. Be a main deck chalice deck. You have all these expensive cards. Play to it. Be a chalice of the void deck. Don't play any one drops. And uh, I'd probably look for more protection. The deck felt a little bit weak in this very heavy pyroblast metagame due to blue red delver so i'd probably look for something else to protect you i'm not sure what that would be but um maybe chalice is good enough i'm not sure but i would definitely start in those places if anyone has any ideas let's hear them put those in the comment section down below let me know if you find a way to make this deck better thank you for watching i do appreciate it keep storming and thank you sean hey Brian Cook here I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.